in country music, uh, many, many, many country uh, artists write their own songs, and they always have. I mean, if you look at Johnny Cash or Merle Haggard or uh, Hank Williams, you know, the songwriting artist has been the mainstay of the business. Um, we also have the last great world-class songwriting community here. And uh, it's the last sort of Tin Pan Alley type situation. And, and, and so it affords our artists uh, access to great songwriting and great co-writing. Nashville, I mean, it's 10 square blocks. You know, on the light side, we'll, we, we call it high school with money. <laughs> and it really is. But yeah, we all do know each other. There are about 5,000 of us that work in this thing called the music industry in Nashville, and we all have our offices or our homes or our focal point in, in a 10 square block area. And it's, it's, there can't be anything like it anywhere else in the world. First and foremost, no, Nashville is not just a country music city. Uh, uh, the, first, the first worldwide superstar that came out of Nashville was the Fisk Jubilee Singers back at the end of the uh, 1800s. Worldwide stars. Uh, it was this black gospel choir from a, a small university uh, over across town. So uh, with that as our roots, uh, what people quite often miss is that we are music city, not country music city. Uh, having said that, country music is the dominant format that we feed, uh, and so that's why we, we, we are labeled the way we are. But we have all kinds of music uh, coming out of here and getting signed elsewhere and, and doing well uh, with other record companies. Country music is started out as music of the country, rural-based music. And what it has become today is this music of the country, the United States of America. Can you expand on that? What do you mean by that? Well, it's, it's music that reflects the, the values and the concerns and the melodies and the, and the grooves and styles of mainstream America, of, of people in, in everyday life. Country is a very wide genre. Uh, in fact, we have only one uh, radio outlet. We, we have this thing called country radio that is our format. Well, I was, I was driving around on my motorcycle listening to music, which is what I like to do, and uh, <clears throat> it occurred to me that country radio is, is really like an oldies format. They play so much traditional and recurrent music that, that uh, it, in a lot of cases when we're breaking a new act, it's like, it's like asking an oldie station to play Coldplay. You know, they're not going to do it because they, they've got 50 years or 60 years of, of oldies to play. And that's what they do. It's not quite that, that tight, but we have one radio format to service traditional country, um, um, you know, old, oldies, um, new you know, pop country, alt country, you know, every kind of country music you can think of squeezes through one format. And it's, so it's very difficult to get anything done. I think alt country is, is what we use to describe rootsy country music. And it can be rootsy in a, in a traditional country kind of way or rootsy in a, uh, uh, a roots rock, edgy, not highly polished kind of way. But with country songs at the, at the center of it all. I, I don't have a prejudice about what, what music ought to be or what country music ought to be. Uh, there's a lot of people in town that, are, that, that cry about uh, the murder of country music, that uh, someone's murdering Music Row. Uh, I suppose I'd be one of those because I think country music can be, should be as broad and wide and tall as it can be. And, and your audience generally feels the same way, your demo? I, I think people don't care about whether something is traditional country or pop or alt. or They just want it to be good and they want it to resonate in some way with their life, whether it's to make them laugh or cry or think mm -hmm. or, or, get, or get pissed off or whatever, you know. I, I don't think that there's much difference from our music and other genres of music and that it's just you find talent uh, wherever it emerges from and, and however it presents itself and you nurture it and you bring it to the public. You know, everything from the Dixie Chicks to Alan Jackson to Keith Urban to you know, uh, 
to Rascal Flats. I mean, right there is, is a big wide swath of music and it's all country and it's all valid and, and, and it should always be that way. Uh, country music has been a hit driven business uh, most of its uh, life, um, but that's changing. And it, I think it's changing across the board. I mean, nowadays, if you doesn't matter what genre you're in, but if you have a hit, people can go buy that hit for 99 cents. I think they'll get it for free, but if they want to be nice, they can buy it for 99 cents and have what they want. They don't have to spend 12 bucks or 15 bucks or even eight bucks to buy an album. So uh, I think everything is becoming a hit driven, but that doesn't necessarily mean that radio is the only way you get a hit. Um, but you know the 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 answer to that is you know you've got to make better albums. We all we've all got to make albums that compel people to want to own the whole thing in the sequence in which it's sequen sequenced with the information and art that come with it, the point of view, everything. You know we we've, we've got to be we've got to put that whole thing together, uh, and it's got to be more than just a sack of songs.